It's story time. Ivan's Fear by Ariel Andres Almada, illustrated by Cha Coco. In the smallest house, in the biggest forest, in the oldest country, lived Ivan with his family. Every morning, he walked to the river with his dog, Tommy. In the afternoons, he would help his father collect honey from the hives. In the evenings, when he was tired, he would sit in the garden and look up at the stars. Although he dreamed about having great adventures and visiting faraway lands, Ivan knew that it would be impossible for him. You see, Ivan's secret was that ever since he was little, he had always been frightened of things. The first time he felt afraid was when his parents took him to the seashore. The waves looked as if they were edging towards them threateningly, and Ivan closed his eyes so that he would feel safer. I'm really scared of the sea, Mommy, he said, and he spent hours walking along the beach, looking out at the water from a safe distance. As the years went by, Ivan discovered that he was also afraid of loud noises, of swimming in the river, and above all, of the strange mist that formed in the forest surrounding his house. It all began one morning just after sunrise. The trees were swishing back and forth, and suddenly the sky became darker and darker. A thick veil of mist descended slowly upon the house. Everything was silent except for a strange noise that seemed to come from the very center of the forest. Tommy was barking in the same direction, running around nervously and constantly looking up at his master. There's something bad in there, Ivan would say quietly when his parents couldn't hear. Then he would hide in bed with the blankets pulled up to his nose while he waited for the mist to disappear. And so the days, months, and years went by. One afternoon in August, on Ivan's seventh birthday, an unexpected visitor arrived at his house. It was his uncle Harry, who had returned from one of his long journeys around Africa and had come to wish Ivan a happy birthday. Ivan's mom prepared a wonderful meal with roast chicken, mushrooms from the forest, and a delicious strawberry cake for dessert. When they finished eating, Ivan and his uncle sat on the porch as evening began to fall. Do you know which is the bravest animal in all of Africa? His uncle asked him. Of course I do, said Ivan. It's the lion. The lion is the bravest animal in the whole wide world. You're right. The lion is a very brave animal. But what people don't know is that a long, long time ago, lions were afraid of nearly everything. Ivan couldn't believe what he was hearing and asked his uncle to tell him more. And so, Uncle Harry scratched his head, took a sip of coffee and said, Now listen carefully because I'm going to tell you the truth about lions. Once upon a time... On one of my African adventures, I arrived in a lonely village in the moonlight. There, I found a medicine man who spent every hour of the day and night investigating the secret of the jungle. He told me that many, many years ago, long before anyone could remember, the lions were the most fearful of all the animals in the jungle. They were scared of the dark, thunder, and even the tiniest creatures. Until one day, something happened quite by surprise. One of the lions discovered a magic song. It seems that it was a very, very old song, one with the power to fill anyone who sang it with bravery. The lions began to sing the song and it worked. And so the lions, who had always been so afraid, became the bravest animals in all the jungle. As he listened to his uncle, Ivan looked at the trees in the forest. Up in the sky, the moon was round and yellow, like a snake's eye. And did the medicine man teach you the magic song? He asked. Yes, he taught it to me, but he made me a promise that I'd only sing it to people who really needed it. Do you want to hear it? 
Of course I do, cried Ivan. Then listen carefully, because I'll only sing it once. It's a magic song, so you have to learn it by heart for it to work. It goes like this. Beneath the glittering starlight, you will be safe right here. Soon you will be strong and brave when you face your fear. When Uncle Harry finished the song, the two of them sat in silence. In the distance, they could hear the chirping of the crickets, and even farther away, the sound of the river as it flowed towards the sea. Well, just look at the time, said Uncle Harry. He put on his hat, getting ready to leave, but before he did, he gave Ivan a last piece of advice. This song only works if you sing it when you face up to your fears. Don't forget it! Uncle Harry patted Ivan on the head and walked off whistling down the path. The next day, Ivan woke up early. He quickly ate his breakfast and called out to Tommy, who ran to him, wagging his tail. They set off along the path that led to the river and in a few minutes were on its banks. Ivan took off his shoes, rolled up his pants to his knees, and stepped into the water. Beneath the glittering starlight, you will be safe right here. Soon you will be strong and brave when you face your fear. He sang while his dog looked at him from the top of a rock. When the water reached his waist, Ivan decided it was time to turn around, and he did. That evening, his mother thought he looked especially happy, although she couldn't imagine why. And so, little by little, Ivan began to overcome his fears. First, he tackled the easiest ones, and then the most difficult ones. As he passed each test, he felt himself becoming stronger and stronger. One day, he felt brave enough to face up to his greatest fear, the mysterious mist in the forest. He had to wait a whole week before it appeared. When it did, Ivan pulled on his walking boots and set off into the trees with his dog at his side. It became mistier and mistier. He couldn't see the end of the path, and soon he could barely see his feet. Suddenly, far away in the distance, Ivan began to hear the mysterious sound. Tommy ran towards it as though he were hypnotized, ignoring his master's cries. Tommy, come back! Come here! yelled Ivan. He shouted so loudly that after a few minutes he had lost his voice. He also lost his way. All he could do was keep going forward. The mysterious sound became louder and louder, and Ivan began to feel afraid, very afraid. He wanted to sing the magic song, but no sounds came out of his throat. Even so, he clenched his fist and decided to keep going. I have to go on. I have to be brave all on my own. He whispered over and over again. Where are you going, young man? The trees asked Ivan. I'm going to the very center of the forest. I want to know what's making that strange noise. But don't you know that's dangerous? No one has ever gone there, said the trees who were just as scared. Ivan ignored them and continued on his way. Farther on, he met a group of squirrels who were running straight at him, escaping from the noise. Where are you going, little boy? asked the squirrels. I'm going to the center of the forest, Ivan answered. But don't you know that's where the mysterious noise comes from? That's why we're running away. But Ivan didn't feel afraid. After a while, the mist began to clear. Now he could see the landscape, and Ivan saw his dog sitting in front of a tree, staring at a branch on which sat an owl. 
The owl was trembling with fear, moving its head from side to side and making strange noises with its beak. So those are the mysterious noises I could hear in the mist, said Ivan, walking towards the bird. Why do you make those noises? Don't you know they scare people? asked the little boy. The owl looked ashamed and replied, I'm the one who's afraid. I can see in the dark, but not through the mist. I'm always afraid of things I don't know. Ivan stood looking at the owl, which continued to shiver. Finally, he made up his mind and said, I'm going to teach you a song that can help you, but you must only sing it when you're facing up to your fears. Ivan whispered the song his uncle had taught him to the owl. The owl began to sing it, nervously at first, and then with greater confidence. After a while, he stopped trembling. I have to go. My mom will be worried, said Ivan, heading back towards the mist. Hang on, just one question before you go. How long do I have to use the song? asked the owl. That's easy. I just found out myself. You have to use it until you don't need it anymore, said Ivan as he and Tommy set off along the path. That night, when he arrived home, Ivan hugged his mother and father, climbed into bed, and dreamed about all the new adventures he was going to have. And, of course, about giant lions deep in the African jungle. Yay! Turn our channel and subscribe for more stories and more songs. Here at Storytime with Annie and Rocco. Bye for now. Have a great day.